What up, guys? Gangs Pranks here, bringing you uh, my How I Would Book WrestleMania 29 video. Uh, I've been doing this for the past couple... Well, I did it for the last WrestleMania, and then I did it for the last couple Bound for Glories, and I just do it for the big shows, and basically, uh, I try and assemble a card where I think it, this would be the best possible card for WrestleMania, and I think it'd be good, and it'd make sense. For, it'd have a storyline from top to bottom. Well, most of them would have storylines. Uh, some of them would be just matches I'd like to see, so... Let's just jump right into it. So how I would book WrestleMania 29. I believe I have 10 or I think I have 10 matches, one segment, and then I have like a pre-show match kind of thing. So let's start out with the pre-show match. Uh, I'd probably have either a six-man tag or maybe a multiple tag team match or maybe even a battle royale. But the, the pre-show match that I'm thinking of is uh, Brodus Clay and Tenzai and a partner which would probably be Santino or Zack Ryder and they would definitely be taking on the 3MB um, you know these two or these two groups have been having um, a feud the past couple weeks and you know Santino's kinda of the one that got Tenzai to start acting like the way he's acting now so uh, you know throw him in there so Tenzai Brodus and Tenzai Brodus and Santino taking on um, 3MB, and that would be a pre-show match. It'd, pr it'd probably be a pretty good little match. I would go with Brodus, Tenzai, and Santino to win. You know, WrestleMania, let's have uh, a good fun time. All the heels lose, stuff like that. So, that would be my pre-show match. So, now on to the actual card. Um, so, if you want to follow along, I got the matches in the description. So just open it up, and you can see all the matches. And then uh, at the end, when I'm done, uh, let me know if you would actually buy this WrestleMania. If this was the WrestleMania that they'd be putting out, WrestleMania 29th, whenever the hell it is. I know I'm doing this a bit early too. Uh, usually I do this closer to WrestleMania, but I was, you know, I'm, make, I'm booking matches for my fucking universe and doing all these feuds, and I'm like, you know, I do this this uh, WrestleMania thing how I'd book it, and so I just wrote it out real quick and. Uh, I think it's pretty good. It didn't take me too long to uh, come up with, you know, all the matches that I wanted. So, yeah, that's that. So, the first match I'd have on WrestleMania, and I said this last year, and they didn't do it. And it would have made more sense last year since Cody Rhodes and Booker T were having their little feud. But I would still like to see it. Cody Rhodes and Goldust, you know, they had a little bit of interaction at the Royal Rumble. And there's just, you could build off so much. Cody wanting to distance himself, um, or no, Cody would say, like, Goldust is a disappointment, you know, he didn't carry out the Rhodes name, and, you know, Cody's gonna have to do it, and just stuff like that, and you can just build off a, a family storyline, you know, get Dusty involved, and do stuff like that, and, um, you know, maybe have Goldust win, and then shave off Cody's mustache or something like that, I don't know, something goofy. But uh, I would like to see this feud. I don't know how many people would like to see this feud, but personally, I would like to see a feud between Cody Rhodes and Goldust. And, uh, you know, may I don't know if I'd probably extend it past WrestleMania because it used to be where WrestleMania storylines ended. Like, that's where the feud ended. And now it seems like WrestleMania is where they start the feud. And then the next pay per view is where they end the feud. So. Uh, they'd probably go another pay-per-view if I was booking this. Uh, next, we have a tag team title match, of course. One thing I wanted to do was put all the titles on the line. And that's something WWE doesn't do very often, <laughs> you know. Uh, when's the last time the IC title was on the line? I think it was online last year. I'm not sure, but uh, majority of the time, it's never on the line. So we're going to have an IC title match. Uh, but I'm skipping ahead. Um... First, after Cody Rhodes and Goldust, which I'd probably have, um, I'd probably have Cody win, to be honest, so i go with him. Um, next, we got Daniel Bryan and Kane, Team Hell No, taking on Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara. Um, I think WWE is wanting to do a Rey Mysterio, Sin Cara kind of feud. Uh, you know, so they could set the world record for having the most people wearing masks in an arena. Which, you know, whatever. But if I was doing this, I'd put them in a tag team title match. And I'd 
I would have Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara win. Um, you know, sell merchandise, blah, 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 blah. And it just seems like they kind of want to break up Team Hell No. But um, this is my universe, so I would definitely have Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara win. Uh, I like Daniel Bryan and Kane as a team. I really do one of my favorite things on WWE, but i probably break them, break them up. Uh, I really like Daniel Bryan. Uh, I'd like to see him as a singles wrestler, maybe even back to a heel, heel on Kane. That that would be unexpected. You'd think that Kane would be the heel, so I'd probably go with Daniel Bryan as a heel and then maybe turn on Kane or something. You know, he gets pissed off because he lost. And I'd probably do that. I also thought about making this a multiple team match, like a, a four-way team tag team match, like uh, add the prime time players and possibly uh, the Usos or something. So that I'd probably stick with just a regular tag team match, but that was also something that I thought about adding other teams. So I'd have Ramus Jones and Carl win over Daniel Bryan and Kane, and then turn Daniel Bryan heel. Uh, next for the IC title, Wade Barrett versus Bo Dallas. I don't really want to see this, but uh, I wanted Wade Barrett to have a match on my WrestleMania. So I'm like, you know, who is contender worthy? And I looked at the list. And Miz, not really. Uh, Kofi, you know, they had a feud already. So I wouldn't want to do that again. The only other guy was Bo Dallas, really. So, <coughs> excuse me, I... I put Bo Dallas in there. I'd have, uh, I'd have Wade Barrett retain to be honest, but yeah, I'd have Wade Barrett retain, keep his IC title, keep building. I don't know. I like. I really think Richie Steamboat should be in this position. That's just me, since you know Wade and Ricky had that uh, like little. I don't want to say altercation, but that like a stare down, and it just seems like Richie Steamboat would fit into this. But they put Bo Dallas randomly, and then he lasted 20 minutes to the Rumble, which I thought was retarded. But, yeah, that, yeah. So, I'd, I'd have Wade Barrett retain over Bo Dallas. Uh, next for the U.S. title, Antonio Cesaro taking on Chris Jericho. You know, Antonio Cesaro continues to uh, you know, promote himself as, you know, I'm undefeated. No American defeat me. And, you know, you have Jericho come out like, oh, I, you know, I'm not American. I'm Canadian, and I can beat you. And I just put this on the list because I really would like to see a match between these two. And, you know, let Antonio win, of course. Uh, Jericho doesn't need the U.S. title. Just continue to build towards Antonio Cesaro. And, um, yeah, this was nothing more than I'd like to see this match on the show. And I just built a little storyline between them. So, I go with Antonio. Uh, next for the Divas title, I have Caitlyn taking on AJ. Um, to me, Caitlyn's an alright Divas champion, and there's no other Divas that are really um, a good heel right now. Like, you have Tamina, but that's just whatever. I mean, they face each other at the Elimination Chamber, so you don't want to do a rematch. And, you know, AJ, she's crazy. You have the dynamic that they used to be tag team partners, so you can build between that. And, uh, you know, Caitlyn can be like, AJ, you changed, blah, 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 you're crazy, and then, or you're cool, then crazy, then you're the GM, you got even crazier, and you're with all these guys, blah, 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 and, um, it would, I think it would be a pretty good match, and I'd definitely have AJ win and become the new Divas Champion, um, and yeah, that, <laughs> that simple storyline, bam, right there. Uh, next would be like a segment... I don't want to say turned into a match, but um, just a segment. You have Big Show, and there's been a lot of rumors that he'd be leaving WWE soon. So, uh, you know, he comes out. He's frustrated. He doesn't have a match on WrestleMania. And uh, he comes out, voices his opinion, saying he's, says he's being untreated fairly. He has this ironclad contract, blah, 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 blah. And, um... He's pretty much threatening to hold the show hostage unless he has a match. So um, I thought a couple for a couple guys um, to come out and face him. I don't know if they could, but like a Christian, if Christian could come and make his return and beat Big Show, and maybe but the whole thing with this segment would be for Big Show to lose to somebody and then quit. Uh, that would be Christian. So if I would have Christian beat Big Show, bam, Big Show quits. But I would have Big Show quit. I'd, in another scenario, I'd have Big Show quit, 
Uh, Mark Henry comes out, takes him out, and uh, you know Big Show is done. And you continue like Big Show, former top heel on SmackDown, he's gone. Pretty much gets replaced with Mark Henry, and uh, you know build Mark Henry as the top heel on SmackDown now. So, uh, if Chris, I'd go with either Chris, probably Christian on this one, and have Christian be Big Show. Like, roll him up in, like, 30 seconds or something. And then, um... And maybe have Big Show quit either way. I don't know. But, uh, that, that'd be a little segment I'd have there. Uh, next you have The Shield taking on Ryback, Sheamus, and Randy Orton in a six-man tag. Um, you know, Ryback wants to get revenge. Sheamus just threw him in... Sheamus and Orton I pretty much just threw in there. But, there's a reason why I threw them in there. And I will tell you in a second. So, you have the match... And you have the Shield win. And then after the match, you have Orton turn heel on Sheamus. You have him punch Sheamus in the head and take out Ryback. So what that does is takes out Sheamus for about a month. And then have Orton and Ryback at the next pay-per-view. Have Orton beat Ryback. And then Sheamus comes back at the pay-per-view. And then have Sheamus and Orton feud. And yeah. And then I don't know what they would, what I would do with the Shield after, um, but I definitely have not pick up the victory and turn Orton into a heel. I guess I'm just turning everybody heel, you know, turn Daniel Bryan to a heel, turn Randy into a heel. Was there anyone else I turned into a heel? Um, no, I didn't. That was that was it. So uh, I'd have, yeah, what I said. You know, Randy, Sheamus, and Ryback lose. Have Orton attack Sheamus, punt him in the head. Have build up between Ryback and Orton, and then uh, Sheamus and Orton feud after Ryback and Orton for about a month. Uh, next would be Undertaker. I would have Undertaker on my WrestleMania. This would probably be his last WrestleMania. I think this would, if he wrestles at WrestleMania 29, it would be his 20 and 0, I believe, or he's past 20 and 0. I'm I, I'm not sure, but um. I think Undertaker should face Dolph Ziggler. That's my opinion. I think they would have a good match. You know, Dolph Ziggler continues to, you know, I'm fucking money in the bank. I can cash in whenever I want and I'm going to win. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, you just have Undertaker say, hey. Well, he doesn't really have to say anything. You just... Undertaker doesn't even have to be there to build up the feud. You know, Ziggler has a match. Bam, lights go out. Um, Ziggler's cutting a promo, bam, Thunderbolt strikes the ring. <laughs> Undertaker doesn't even have to be there to uh, promote the match. But uh, I think these two should have a match. Have Undertaker wrestle his last match. Of course he's going to beat Ziggler. I'm not having Ziggler beat Undertaker. But with Ziggler being in the match at, with Undertaker, even if he loses, that's fine. Even if he loses. He doesn't need to win. Have Undertaker win. Have him go out. And, yeah, that's simple. Bam, right there. Uh, next, I would have Triple H taking out Brock Lesnar. You know, continuing their feud from SummerSlam. Brock recently taking out Vince. Uh, definitely have Triple H with Vince in his corner, and Paul Heyman will be in Brock Lesnar's corner. I wrote a couple drafts of this WrestleMania. You know, I there's a couple matches that I wanted to do. Uh, this was the final WrestleMania card I came up with, but matches that I had um, on on other shows was like CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar. That's something I wanted to try and do, but it really wouldn't make sense. Uh, I'd probably build that after WrestleMania. So, um, anyways, so Triple H, Brock Lesnar, Triple H wants revenge. You know, Lesnar took out his father-in-law. Triple H coming out. You know, probably get Stephanie involved. You know, Brock broke. Uh, Triple H's arm, he broke Sean's arm, I think storyline thing that he broke Vince's hip or whatever, so just have Triple H come in, you know, have a 20 minute match, Triple H, Brock Lesnar, definitely have Triple H win here, and then uh, on the next night on Raw, you have Lesnar complain that he lost to, uh, the, to Triple H, you have Punk complain that he lost his match at WrestleMania, which we'll get to in a second. And then, uh, bam, build a feud from there. And then let or Heyman's kind of in the middle because they're both his guys. And he doesn't want to take sides. So, bam, feud right there. Um, so, Triple H versus Lesnar. Triple H wins. 
Uh, next, we have Alberto Del Rio taking on Jack Swagger for the world title. Hopefully, Jack Swagger can make it to WrestleMania without getting high. He can get high after WrestleMania, but make it there without being high. Uh, so, I'd have Alberto Del Rio versus Jack Swagger. You know, Jack Swagger with Zeb Coulter, this whole um, American storyline, and, you know, immigrants. It's just perfect for him to take on Del Rio. It makes a lot of sense. Um, definitely have Zeb Coulter. Uh, take out Ricardo Rodriguez in the match uh, distracting Del Rio allowing Swagger to uh, hit the Swagger bomb or um, that ankle lock thing that the Patriot Act I believe and uh, bam Swagger your new world champion you can build this you can even have a submission match at the next pay per view cross arm breaker versus the ankle lock I think that would be a pretty good match Definitely continue this feud. Lots of potential. And, um, and yeah, I would love to see, like, when Eddie Guerrero was feuding with JBL, they did a segment on SmackDown where JBL went to the border and he saw a bunch of Mexicans coming over and he just kind of shooed them. I don't, I think he shooed them back into Mexico. And I think they should do that again with Swagger and Coulter. Some variation of that. I think it would be hilarious. Be very, not PG, but um, it build a lot of heat towards this match. So that's a s segment I would do if I was in charge of this whole thing. So again, I'd have Swagger go over Del Rio and win the world title. Last but not least, the main event of WrestleMania, of course, Cena winning the Royal Rumble, earning a shot at WrestleMania against The Rock, who is the WWE Champion, but there is a third participant in this match, CM Punk. So the way I'd book this is, I said this on my weekly wrestling review, my predictions for Elimination Chamber, I'd have CM Punk versus The Rock, CM Punk, you know, refs down, Heyman's getting involved, hands Punk the title, and before Punk can hit The Rock, Cena comes out, grabs the title from Punk because he doesn't want uh, Punk to beat The Rock in a heelish way. So, bam, grabs the title. Punk's like, what the fuck? Turns around, rock bottom. The Rock wins. Uh, so, it's The Rock versus Cena at WrestleMania. And Punk, you know, just keeps coming out. You know, fucking I, Cena screwed me. Cena screwed me. Cena screwed me. Um, you know, I didn't get my full title match. And just ha add him to the match. I. No one wants to see The Rock vs. Cena 2. No. I don't. I don't think a lot of people do. Have a three-way. I think it's the best thing you could do in this scenario. Add Punk to the match. He could, He's the heel of the match. Can The Rock and Punk... Or can The Rock and Cena work together to take out Punk from the match? And then they can have a, you know, Rock vs. Cena 2 kind of thing. I wouldn't say, like, take him out that he can't make it to WrestleMania. But during the match take out Punk so they can have their one-on-one -on -one rematch again and um, I would have I uh, I don't even know who I'd have win uh, probably not Punk it'd probably be Cena or The Rock but um, actually maybe Punk should win I don't know cause then I don't know there'd probably be a lot of angry people Punk snuck the victory out of Rock and Cena uh, I um, uh, I would go with I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is a tough one. Um, I'd probably go with The Rock. Just let him keep the WWE title. I know he's not going to be able to appear a lot as the WWE champion doing movies and shit. But, you know, what uh, WWE wants to do The Rock versus Lesnar at SummerSlam. That's I'm not booking SummerSlam, so I'm thinking short term. I'd probably have The Rock win. And uh, keep the title. And yeah, I'd, I'd actually, you probably have Cena win. You know, Cena can face uh, fucking Lesnar again. He can face Ziggler. He can face whoever. That's a tough one. They don't. Looking at this, WWE needs to start building stars. They need to start building main event talent. And quick. Because. I'm looking at this, and there's not a lot. There's guys that they can that can like go back and forth, do a world title match, do a lower card match. Guys like Chris Jericho, but um, you know Chris Jericho is getting up there in age. They're gonna start needing to build. This is a make it or break it year for WWE, in the sense they have they have to start pushing talents. 
to be big. Yeah. Antonio Cesaro, he's kind of up there. Um, he's getting there. Wade Barrett, same thing. But they need more people to start getting him. Ziggler's kind of there. Swagger's kind of there. He's not fully there. He's been there, but he's he's fallen a lot, so he needs to get back up there. So, um, yeah, I'd probably have seen a win. Maybe feud with Punk. I don't know. But, um, yeah, that, uh, that I would, I'd look forward to a three-way with Punk, Cena, and The Rock. And I, I know it's like, you know, Cena won the Royal Rumble. It should be another one-on-one -on -one match between him and The Rock. But do you really want to see that? Like, I think Punk has to be in the match. And I think they're building towards just Rock, Cena, too. But, um, and then I think WWE is going to be doing Undertaker vs. Punk, which would be cool. And one of the other match, like, other WrestleManias that I wrote, I wrote a couple out, and one of the matches I had was Punk vs. Undertaker, I had Punk vs. Lesnar, and then I had Punk in this three-way, so I ended up going with Punk in the three-way, so... Yeah, lots of stuff. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had fun making this pay-per-view. Uh, let me know in the comments, would you buy this pay-per-view? And uh, maybe set up your own, your own WrestleMania. Um, you know, don't bring, like, dead people and stuff. Like, it's not a dream WrestleMania. It's, um, try and make the best WrestleMania with the stars they currently have. So... Uh, try and write some in the comments. I'll be reading them. And yeah, let me know. Would you buy this pay-per-view? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch us next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.